The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed by a, I'm not gonna say what race, what people uh, doctor and what hospital and what media went to. We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor. Look, this will be a short video. I don't want to do another Kanye West video. I did a full eight minutes on his psychopathology a couple years ago when he said he was going to run for president. And I concluded, based on what the media had shown us, that he met the diagnostic criteria for bipolar one, not narcissism. And now, a couple years later, everybody wants to know what's going on with Kanye West or, or Ye, or what's happening, why is he being so crazy? Here's what I think. He's acting like someone that has bipolar one. He's in the middle of a manic episode. Someone who manic episodes can last months long. So you are full of agitation. You're full of energy. You have delusions of grandeur. You're self-important. You, you have illogical thinking. You have pressured speech. All, all of these things are part of mania. And, and here's what's frustrating for me is everybody knows that. Everybody that is interviewing Yay now understands that he is in the middle of a manic episode, but they don't care. They are putting a microphone in his mouth and they're saying, what do you think about Black Lives Matter? What was strikingly missing from the coverage, however, was any explanation for why West did this. What was the t-shirt about? We've rarely heard a man speak so honestly and so movingly about what he believes. The reality is that if they actually cared about Ye's opinion, they would back away, they would make sure that he got support, and they would wait until he was medicated and stable, and then they would ask him, hey, what do you think about our president? But that doesn't get any clicks, that doesn't get views. So what we do is we inflame him. We just add fuel to the fire, we piss him off, we get him agitated, and then we put a microphone in his mouth. The president of the United States does not have meetings with Elon Musk. Hmm. That is <laughs> Hey, here, come, 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 come get me, that's retarded. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to say that, Biden, but that retarded. In, in his, and they watch him destroy his career. They're watching him burn down his relationships, destroy his family. We just watch and consume the trash that comes out of his mouth. Interviewing Ye right now is the same as going on the street corner and interviewing somebody in the midst of a schizophrenic episode and saying, hey, talk about Joe Biden. It's totally unreasonable, and I think it's shameful. I don't think Ye is racist, sexist, homophobic, ableist, anti-Semitic, any of those things. I think he's delusional. He is a man in the middle of a manic episode, and we should respect that. We should back off, just like we should have backed off of Ye two years ago, just like we should have backed off of Britney Spears, just like we should have backed off of Charlie Sheen. In my opinion, that's the most interesting part of this whole thing, is how distorted our media is and how we will capitalize on anybody at any time in an effort to get views.